Lucy. I'm an author, a speaker, and a transformation life coach. Welcome to my space. Why is it difficult for us to get along with our ex-partners once we've broken up? What about the kids? What about peace? What about being civil to each other? What impact does it have on our lives? What impact does it have on our children's lives? Well, today we'll be unpacking on those as we will be talking the importance of a child having both parents in their life. I completely understand that once we go through a breakup, our emotions are not in the right place. Some of us can be bitter, some of us can be sad, some of us have got this anger because of the disappointment that we have experienced. However, though, it doesn't matter who is right, who is wrong, who did what, who did not do what for the relationship not to work out. The important part is what about the child? The child did not ask to be brought into this world and therefore because the relationship did not work out, a child is not supposed to be the one who has to suffer these consequences. So let us be conscious as parents as to how are we going to work together, be civil to each other and leave our own personal feelings for the sake of the child and work together as parents. And as much as we claim that we love these kids, that will be one of the signs of loving your child to make sure that you give them all the love and not destroy their future. I'm sure some of you are like label, but you don't understand. It's difficult to communicate with this person. It's difficult to be civil with this person. This person has hurt me. This person is not helping me with the child. I completely understand those emotions and you are completely entitled to go through those feelings and that process. However, when you go through those things, what about the child? And the benefit of being a conscious parent is that it's not only going to be beneficial for you as a parent, but it's also going to be beneficial to your child as well. So that you do not raise a child who has to recover from his past. But then how do you let go? How do you become civil? Firstly, forgive yourself that the relationship did not work out. Make peace that it did not work out. And now you need to look at the circumstances at that point in time. Yes, you might have challenges in terms of financials. You might have challenges that some person is denying you access as much as you want to. However, can we as parents leave our emotions and feelings aside and just concentrate on this one soul? A child does not care as to whether mommy is the one who's taking me to school as to whether mommy is the one or daddy is the one who's paying for my school fees and the other one is not doing this. The child does not care whether my mom is useless, my dad is useless or whatever opinion you might have about your ex-partner. The child loves the parents the way they are with their imperfections and you, you have to do the same thing for your child and be there for them and be civil and work together with your ex, especially if ever they are willing to be there for the child and make the process easier when they come don't make small little issues an issue and say no you're not gonna see the child because um you're not helping me financially you come as you please you don't you did not make an arrangement for that point you just need to sit down and come up with a plan as to how you're gonna work together as parents to raise this child so while you go through that just remember the important thing your child you claim that you love your child, so act like you love your child. Children learn from what they see and what they hear. So as parents, let's be conscious as to what we say and what we do around our children. If ever you're going to practice love, you're going to practice peace, that's what your child is going to have when they grow up. But if ever you're all angry and you're all bitter, that's what you're teaching your child. This is all that I have for today. Thank you so much for your time. Please do subscribe on my YouTube and follow me on all social media platforms as Lebo Munchusi. Thank you.